What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to change a color of any object inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. There's many reasons why you might need to change a color in post. Maybe you've got an interview and there's something sitting in the background and you didn't realize how distracting it is until you later go to edit it. Maybe you just want to change the color of someone's shirt. Maybe you want to do a magic trick where you change the balloon multiple times when they pop it. Whatever the case is, that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's jump in and get going. I just filmed a piece of my shelf in my office. Uh, you can see I have the normal Coke can that was just sitting there. And then I uh, went on ahead and did the second, the exact same video clip where I went on ahead and changed the color. So I'm gonna move this out of the way because we don't need that. And we're just gonna be focusing on this video clip right here. Everything we're gonna be doing is inside the color page. Now I did go ahead and color all my footage, get everything just looking as good as it can out of the camera, uh, It just which I do recommend. I just have my base correction, and then I added one of my LUTs on top uh, on my second node, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another node. That's where we'll do all our masking and changing of the color and stuff like that. So step one, we're gonna hit Option S on a Mac, uh, or you can right click and you can hit um, Add another node, and we're gonna add a serial node that's what we're doing that's what this is right here I just did the keyboard shortcut you of course can change the color of any object you want I just used the coke can because it was a very vibrant red and it would work really well for the purpose of this tutorial so the first thing we need to do is add a power window so we can track this so I'm gonna go right here to window I'm going to click the cursor so we can do uh, zoom in and draw around this you don't have to get it exactly perfect of course but it is going to save you a lot of time later so I'm gonna roughly just draw around this again I do recommend taking your time at the beginning it's going to make it way better in the end but just for the purpose of this tutorial I just kind of burn through it now what we're gonna do is we need to track this so we are gonna go right next to the power window and we're gonna hit the tracker I'm already set on tracker if you need to click the window you've got stabilizer and FX but I just need the tracker so I'm leaving it set as it is I want all these checked and I'm gonna hit forward I'm gonna let it do its thing, make sure it's tracking really good, and it did. The camera wasn't moving too crazy, so it wasn't that much work to it, but I do gotta say DaVinci Resolve has an amazing tracker, so if you guys want me to dive into that way more in another video, let me know in the comments below. Now that I have it selected, we can hit this power window. We can see the whole can is uh, selected right there. Something I do like to do is go to the power window, and I like to just boost it a little bit on the outside, uh, and we're gonna soften it maybe just a few percent, just like 0 0.08. Uh, and now what I need to do is I need to click the color picker right here, the qualifier, and I'm gonna make sure I have the first one selected right here, the picker, and I am going to drag and kind of select some of the red. If you do not have this magic wand right here selected, you can still do it without it, but it makes it a lot easier selecting that so you can see what you're doing. I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit better. Uh, I got majority of it, but I wanna get some more. So I am going to hit the picker with the plus and we're gonna add more. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna drag some more, kind of get all of this that I know is red. Now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna do just a little bit of clean black and a little bit of clean white, not a whole lot, and I am gonna denoise it just a little bit, and I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to mess with this to make sure I'm getting all my colors selected, bringing my hue out a little bit. I'm gonna boost the saturation just a little bit, and I am gonna play a little bit with my luminance right here, just fine tuning it where I think looks good. I think that looks okay right there. Now what we can do is we can uncheck that and you can actually, the easiest way to start messing with colors is right here under the color wheels on the first tab. You can click hue and you can start dragging it and moving it and see what it does. Uh, that actually was a pretty dang good mask. You can see there's a little bit right here. So again, you can mess with it right here or we could go to the power window and we could do just a little bit more outside. Not a lot because we don't want it getting out of hand. Uh, I like to click off of that just so we can see what it looks like. We can play that through. That actually looks 
pretty good. Now, of course, I am going way overboard with this. You would not honestly change a Coke can to be blue unless you're really going for something like that. Uh, but I'm just going to the complete opposite so you guys can see what's going on. And that's basically it. If you need to fine tune things again, you can always mess with the hue right here, spreading it out, giving you a little more. You can do more saturation, more luminance, and you can kind of give you some clean white, clean black. If it's having a really hard time, you can always add a little bit of blur radius. Uh, but I've kind of figured out the denoiser seems to work the best. Uh, on that, um, tracker's good, mask is good. If you needed to do multiple things, you could either add another mask right here, or you could add another node, add another mask, and we could change things like that. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you change a color in post inside DaVinci Resolve. If you guys like this video and it helped you out, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below on some new videos you want to see coming out. And if you're new here, consider subscribing, ringing the bell, and joining the community. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'll catch you next time. Peace.